question again. What AFC quarterback is under pressure? The most pressure right now. Josh Allen. Josh Allen. Uh, to me, is Josh Allen. Josh Allen supposed to be a top four quarterback in the NFL. Uh, will be no excuses for Josh Allen this year. I mean, Lamar Jackson, that's a good one. But Josh Allen, Josh Allen is under the most pressure. Stephon Diggs, DeAndre Hopkins, Stephon Diggs, DeAndre Hopkins. Plus, if you get DeAndre Hopkins, whichever one gets DeAndre Hopkins out of the Eagles, out of the, uh, the Buffalo Bills, the Kansas yeah. Kansas City Chiefs, we don't need to go that route. He's already – that man, Patrick Mahomes, already proven. But if Josh Allen somehow lands DeAndre Hopkins, that's who's on, up under the most pressure. And I believe Josh Allen is up under the most pressure. Again, this guy continues to fail when it matters the most. And part of that, because the offense is ran so much through him, and, you know, it's ran so much through him throughout the run game and the passing game, they don't use the run game as effectively. So that's most of that as the offensive coordinator using him and they're getting the best up out of them and using them as a strength as they should, but they put too much on them. That's probably why he plays so much as reckless. But at the same goddamn time, you on the field, you got to stop turning the goddamn ball over and throwing the damn ball in the coverage. You got to learn how to read defenses the right way. Several times last year, he threw the ball in coverage when he wasn't supposed to throw the ball. He lost the Jets' first Jets game throwing two interceptions and one at the goal line. He lost the Minnesota game like that. Throwing at the, at the goal line. He lost the Cincinnati game like that. You're too good and too talented. And have too good of a talented team not to at least get to an AFC goddamn championship game. Now, I understand against Patrick Mahomes the first time, your defense gave that totally shit the bed when they were number two overall in defensive rate, rating. They were number two overall, and they shit the bed. That wasn't Josh Allen's fault. But the very next year you come against Cincinnati and you lay the damn egg. Year before that, let's go back prior to year when you played by Houston Texans. You lost a 16-point lead in that game. And the Texans coming back and winning that game and have to end up playing the Kansas City Chiefs till we self-destruct a 24-nothing lead. But that's the game you should have been in. But that was his first time getting to the playoffs. Josh Allen has to get the goddamn job done this year. You got too many talented receivers. Stephon Diggs is at a breaking point at this point of time. You got Dawson Knox. You got Dalton Kincaid. He was one of the best receivers in college. You got a good enough defense. Josh Allen is up under the most pressure to get to an AFC uh, Super Bowl uh, game. So I'm going to go with Josh Allen. And I'm obviously going to go with the obvious uh, choice. Steven, we're going to get to that uh, in, a, in a few. We can talk about where De DeAndre Hopkins is going to go. Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson under the most pressure right now. Um, he got the got the contract, one of the highest paid in the league right now. Uh, he wanted that deal. He wanted to go out and prove and bet on himself. No agent. He wanted to get it done. He got the deal done. Um, we all know the Baltimore Ravens caters their catered their defense, caters to their defense. It's always been a def. They're all they're known for their defense more than their offense. Um, so of course you're going to spend money on Rukron Smith um, and those guys. Um, but then they get Odell. Okay. That's a that's a much added addition that they needed to that re receiving core. Then you go out and get Zay Flowers, another addition. Rashad Bateman, can he stay hurt? Can he stay healthy? Can Lamar Jackson stay healthy? He has no excuses now for weapons. He has a good solid running game when they're healthy. Um, you got Mark Andrews, one of the best tight ends in this game, and you got receivers now. No excuses on Lamar's part, but can Lamar Jackson stay healthy? Is the key. Two years you have not been there for your team in the playoffs when they needed you the most because you were injured. Injuries come with the game. Again, I'm not blaming him for injuries, but it's going on two years now. You can't get the job done. You won one playoff game and that's it. You've been an MVP. I'm not saying that you are bad or horrible in any way. Lamar Jackson is very talented. I'm not knocking that at any way, but 